organization to independence, from socialism to capitalism, from a civil war to a peace treaty. Mozambique is familiar to changes. Changes, indeed, are also the main promise of all candidates which run for the presidency in the country's third general elections. It is the end of 2004, and I, a Brazilian journalist, am about to find out what the electoral process in Mozambique is really all about. Still being undecided whom to vote for, I join Maninha and Newton on their way through their search for the right candidate. Observers claim that the elections could be rigged. Analysts fear that violence could break out again. All of them agree, however, that the turnout will be high, since in the end, Mozambicans desire change.